how you can use gelato hi guys welcome back to another video and in this video i'm going to be telling you how you can use gelato and how you can use it to set up an account and set up your business so having said that let's just jump into the video now before i begin and move on any further i just want to say that if you happen to like this video all right if you found this useful and if you're interested in gelato then there will be a link down in the description below just simply click on it when you click on it you will be able to get 50 percent off on your first purchase so keep that in mind so having said that let's move on now why do am i using gelato well it's pretty simple there are a couple of reasons number one is that gelato has a very very large number of production they have over 100 production you know warehouses in 34 different countries which i think is pretty amazing so as you can see over here they even say this production in 34 different countries thousands of online stores connected to gelato for customized item product locally and delivered within a average of 72 hours which is pretty amazing another reason is that if i come over here onto trustpilot and i just simply search for let's say print on demand right because gelato is a print on demand products right is a print on demand company so if i just simply search for print on demand over here you will see all of the print on demand companies all of the industries over here and you will see that gelato ranks at the top with a staggering 401 reviews and a very decent and very impressive score of 4.7 which is one of the reasons why i use it so over here as you can see we have a bunch of different other uh, print on demand options over here but as you can see none of them come even close to gelato which is why i use it it is highly trusted it is highly secure and it works very very well so as i said before if you're interested in it just simply scroll down click the link and you will be able to get gelato and 50 percent off on your first product so now that we have gotten that out of the way let's move on so over here if i just simply you know so over here i'm on their main website and first things first we're going to quickly sign up so the sign up process is very simple all you have to do is just simply click on the sign up now button over here or click on get started so i'm going to click on sign up now and then just simply click over here on sign up button i have created an account before but i'm just going to show you how it looks like how this you know step by step how the sign up process works and then once it's done we will begin so over here as you can see it also says 50 percent discount on the first order right so make sure you do that click the link and you will be get that as well so let's go ahead and sign up with your email you can even sign up with google facebook or apple or whatever but i'm going to go ahead and sign up with my email address so once you have signed up they're going to basically ask you some basic questions like what do you do why do you want to use gelato what type of product do you want to sell where have you heard about gelato from like stuff like that and once you've answered them this is how it's going to look like all right then over here on the right side you're going to have a small checklist that you have to complete in order to fully you know complete your account setup so connect to a store create a product and publish to store pretty simple right so over here if you choose these products you can go over here and you know create a product for yourself and they will send that product to you right but if you are you know wanting to let's say sell your products online or create a product to start your own business well it's pretty simple first you got to connect your store then you got to create your product and then you got to publish it so let me just show you so connecting a store is very simple so you just simply click on stores over here and then you have these options right here so as you can see there's a couple of different types of products that we can sell so we have our shopify we have etsy we have woocommerce wigs squarespace amazon equid 3d card we can easily connect with all of them right so i've already connected my site and connecting this shopify account with gelato is very simple so if you are let's say connecting your shopify account or etsy account or anything like that what you're going to do is you're just simply going to go into their app store well it's pretty simple right so let me just show you if i go into my shopify account and i just simply log in over here this is how it's going to look like right then what you're going to do is just simply go into apps over here and you're going to find your store so let me show you so let's say i want to connect to a shopify account so i'll just simply click on connect in the app store of gelato then they're going to ask me to find the application i'm just simply going to click over here while being logged into the shopify account and then it's going to ask me to install the application then i'll just simply click on install app and then wait for a couple of seconds for it to be installed and once it's installed it'll redirect me back to the gelato api dashboard where it'll 
where it will tell me that congratulations your store is now connected so over here as you can see congratulations you have successfully connected your store now over here they're basically going to ask you how would you like to import or and process orders well there are two options automatically or manually if you choose automatically then import all future orders into gelato automatically you can do that automatically you can automatically send orders to the production gelato will do that automatically but if you want to have like a more control on your account then you would want to go with manually then you would have to manually approve each order before you send it to print and orders can be edited for example let's say updated artwork before approval as well so if you would want that then you can choose that but that's a little bit hectic but it all depends on you right then if you already have a product then you just simply click on connect to a product and then you can connect that product to your shopify store but if you don't have a product what you can do is just simply click over here and this is basically step number two so step number one was to connect our store we did that step number two is to create a product let's go ahead and do that now there are a couple of ways that you can create a product you can do that yourself like for example you just simply come over here and choose a design right so let's just say that we want to create men's clothing and then over here we'll choose a tank top right this is a unisex tank top and over here you will be arriving over here onto the design section so over here you can adjust the sizes of your product you can add different layers you can add files text layouts settings and all of that you can have you know different sizes you can link to them so i don't want extra large or double extra large i'll just simply click on extra small small medium large maybe extra large as well then we'll just simply choose the color so i'm going to choose black and white and i'm going to unlink these two because i don't want to have you know same the color of same product on both of them because if, for example if i'm uploading a you know design then it would have a white background but if i'm uploading but if i'm uploading a black background it will look much more elegant on a white background but if i'm uploading a black design on a black tank top then it wouldn't look so good i would need to upload a white one so for that example you need to unlink them so that you can add individual prints on different things now if you don't know how to create one well it's pretty simple you can easily create a free design on canva.com canva is a pretty amazing tool that lets you design and create a lot of things for example thumbnails presentations uh, proposals or anything like that it's pretty simple so i'm going to go ahead and sign in and i'll show you how it looks like so over here i'm locked in and as you can see this is how it looks like so over here we're just simply going to search for t-shirts right and over here you will have different you know colors of different designs and templates for different t-shirts so some of these are you know for pro versions but most of these are also for free so we're going to choose the free one like this one right here and this looks pretty amazing now i'm going to create two of these a black version and a white version as well so i'm going to select all of this all right and over here i'm going to click on color and this one i'm going to continue with white background and i'm going to create another one and I'm going to copy all of this, right? And I'm going to paste it over here. There you go. But now I want to change the color over here. Let me just select that. Here we go. Now I want to change the color to white. There you go. As you can see, I want to change this one as well. And I actually can't, which is weird. Maybe I can choose the white one for this one. And for this one, a white as well. And then down below, we can go with this one, right? This is like a torn piece of paper, but we can still, you know, actually we can't. So what we'll do is we'll just leave it at that. Maybe we can find some grid lines as well to replace it. I'll go into elements and I'll just simply search for grid. And over here, we have a bunch of different options, right? So these are for the pro version, but let's go with graphics and over here we can see we have some grid lines so we just choose whichever one we want let's try to see if we can find a half version of this grid there is this option as well but i don't really like that i'm gonna select the free version as well because now we have all these different grids that are free so maybe we can apply this one this looks nice so let me actually increase the size over here and i'll place it right over here somewhere like that something like that yeah 
that looks nice. Then I'll just simply delete this and I'll increase that over here and I'll change the color to white as well. Now I'll just simply change the background to white and also the butterfly as well. I'm gonna change it to black. And the second option, actually maybe the second color will be look good on black. Yeah, I think that looks nice. Now we just increase the, now I'll put this one over here. Now increase the size to something like that. Yeah, I think that looks nice. And I'll copy the exact same, you know, lines over here. And I'll delete this one. And I'll paste it over here. And I'll change the color to black. There you go. I'm going to click over here and I'm going to send it to back over here. There we go. Now that looks much nice. I'm going to send this one to back as well. There you go. Much better. So now we have our two designs. Now what we'll do is we'll just simply download them and then we'll print them on our shirts. But we also need to remove the background as well because it wouldn't look good. There we go. We have our designs. Now I'll just simply extract them over here. Now what I'll do is I'll open up a background removal and I'll remove the backgrounds. There we go. Now what we'll do is I'll come back over here and we'll just simply upload our designs, right? So I'm going to upload them over here from my file over here these are two designs that they're the older version all right these are the ones so we'll just simply upload them over here now on the black version i want to upload the white one so let's just wait for them to be uploaded and here we go now we'll upload that one see as you can see that looks pretty nice right that looks really nice and then on the white one we'll upload the black version there you go so now we have our two designs okay they're now linked i don't want to link them but yeah that looks nice okay no they're not linked so now what we'll do is we'll just simply click on continue and continue that to media now over here since i am using a premium version of gelato i have access to these different mockups so i just simply choose the mockups like these models that can showcase the images which is pretty cool so i'll upload that one as well and yeah that one as well since there is no image from the back or any design on the back, so we're not going to choose any back, any back photos as well. We'll choose that one as well. Then what we'll do is we'll just simply, then what we'll do is we'll just simply click on continue to details. We can also choose the main image over there as well. Now we'll just say premium unisex butterfly tank top, right? That looks nice. As you can see, then you can choose the metric measurements as well. You can choose the imperial measurements and all of that settings and add a description. And once you've done that, just simply click on continue to pricing. And then over here, you just have to input your pricing. Over here is going to be the main price over here, which is going to be the retail price. And then over here are going to be the profits. You can go ahead and decrease the prices as you see fit or increase them as you see fit as well. Let me just remove that over there. Boom. Here we go. Then what you're going to do is just simply click on publish. So this was step number three, connect a store, create a product, publish it to your store. Boom. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. You see in less than, I would say maybe 15 minutes, I showed you how you can connect a store with Gelato, create a different product and upload them and connect it to your store as well. So as you can see, it's so easy. Now, if you go back to our Shopify account and click on product, you will see that the product is over here. So as you can see, the premium butterfly unisex tank top is available over here. So as you can see, it works 100%. It's loading a little bit. I don't know why my internet is so slow today. I do apologize for that. So over here, as you can see, we have the product. We have all the mock-up designs, all the models that we chose, all the description, all the colors, all the pricing and all, everything. So as you can see, it works 100%. So see that's how easy it is to connect to gelato and as i said before it's one of the best ones out there because of their production and their network and their reviews and their easeability and everything it's just wonderful that you know it's a wonderful piece of software so if you're wondering and if you're interested in gelato then do click the link down in the description below as that will allow you to get 50 percent off on your first order so having said that 
that is it for this video guys i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you have any questions let me know in the comment sections down below and i will be sure to answer them as soon as possible so having said that thank you guys for watching and until next time take care and goodbye